How have you been enjoying the con so far, real fast? Honestly, like, of course it's my first time in Connecticut themselves. It's, 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 it's a fun area, I'll say. Okay. It's a, um, the, the venue is interesting. But before we talk, we can talk about that later. Yep. Of course, uh, the more interesting I'd like to say is this set. These guys, like you said before, have played countless of times. They know each other. Everyone's seen that clip where Zomba side B's and Dakle <laughs> goes through it, S matches him, and Zomba in his little kid form looks so uh, you know, he looks upset. So <laughs> upset. <laughs> he looks so Distraught, hurt shall we say. and betrayed. And Jackal has now gotten a single bit of damage on him. We are going for a zero to death. The longest one of all time, personally. Oh! We got zero to death, BB girl. We got zero to death. In that back head just like that? You're raw big. For real? Rob humongous because he really got hit in the head and like the top of his noggin Ugh, with that back shine, air. Two shines in the same combo. Yo, Jackal different with it. This wolf going a bit further than beyond at the moment, and Zombo ain't got no answer. Only put on 20%. Playing Rob, by the way. Someone got answer for the crimes. Zombo can't answer for sure. No, for sure. The, the crimes are still there, Zombo. Finally, the up air coming in, the infamous up air. But it's still going to be up to Jackal to just maintain his lead, maintain the aggression. He's not, he doesn't really have to approach anymore now that he has a full stock lead. But it's announced to Zombo to put in the brakes and start to get something started. And we are, we definitely are doing that. The back hit, the last hit of that back here actually going to be connecting. But the F tilt going to be sending Zombo off stage. Rob, um, dying. What's going on today? We just gifted freebies today, Mo, apparently. You know, that's what we do up in, in Connecticut. About, okay, is it us? Either way, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who it is at the moment. You know, who that man is right now is Jackal. You know, commanding lead right now versus Zombo. No slouch at all. You know what I mean? And at the moment, again, another shine combo. Getting a little bit in. Any damage helps these spaces. But can they get that W is all it takes. Zombo getting smacked up right now. Oh, my God. Oh wait! I love the the the, the, the reflect there as a as a combo extender. Wait, you're so smart. You may have died, but Jackal, you're so smart, dude. All right, Zamba is still at one stock, 103 percent. I mean, anything Wolfly does, a Harding Forest match, we get the back here on near the edge of the of the stage. We can get a lot of stuff Hold here. Hold on, no, we playing Rob. Oh, can't oh. forget about Rob. That character will kill you in a flash. You know, Zomba might have had like a bad start, and there might be a bad ending too. This first game going straight to Jackal. They looked uh, commanding lead, by the way. He was oh, yes. confident. The Shine combos as well. But like, I don't know how practical uh, Shine is. Someone can obviously at me and tell me. But I remember Charlie was doing it ages ago when he used to play the game. I remember Jackal did it a few few times ago in some tournament sets. And he's bringing it back more and more. And I feel like when you've got confidence like that in the first set of the day in top eight, I feel like, you know what, you could, you know, you could win it all. You know, who knows? I think it also helps that you're finding your friend. Sure. You know, you are you already have that you know that uh, that confidence, that comfortability. That's what I want to say, really. Where you're finding a friend, you fought this person so many times. It's so even. You know, Zama's taking games. Uh, I believe Zama's taking um, a. Uh, I, I want to say I try to say major. I forgot which one. I'm so sorry. But this year. No, it was last year. Oh, okay. But ticket. It was them two and grants. Mm -hmm. You know, over so much international talent, and it's so. It's just that comfort. That, oh, that, that comfort. was Crown. It was Crown, yeah, right? Yeah, Thank that was you. in Utah. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. It was. It's just this comfortability you have with one another. Um, what I'm not comfortable with is that Zamba, as you know, died twice. <laughs> Very funnily, you know, zero to death and then SD. It happens. Jackal gonna be maintaining that pressure though, coming in a clean 50% on Zamba as we speak. But we are, we have the music counter pick on our side, so Zamba is cooking. Oh, with the gyro, no conversion from it, but still a lot of pressure. Good start from Zamba, actually understanding what they need to do against Jackal. But Jackal being that brick wall, not letting anything past him, and a couple of few juggles. And now Jackal taking a strong lead. Oh, with grab, but thankfully no follow-up on Zamba's end. The laser not gonna be doing much after the the gyro, so it gives Jackal at least on life here on small battlefield. The gyro, uh, the gyro gonna actually allow the downtime to connect as well as the berry. But then again, the great mash out. But then the uh, the uh, the up air after the fact does come in clutch for Zamba here. Now it's completely even. The down smash, you drop your shield. What happens? Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't know if that was a shield plug or not, but I think they did drop their shield in the end. Jackal wanted to press a button, not being able to. Got away just a little bit longer, and now Zomba actually taking the lead. We'll see what he can do in this second game. Uh, doing a good job so far, but no oh. gyro allowed in play. Getting it blocked, trying to get another one, and being a bit too greedy. Jackal able to take that stock, but again, these throw combos from Zomba can be so deadly. Okay, Jack, one, two, three into the dash attack coming in from Zomba on the ledge, and then Jackal fighting his way out with these uh, forwarders into the. Oh, we go, we go for dash attacks already. In neutral, I love that for us. I like that. Okay, Going yeah. for all the wall. This That's the, the gyro zone. This the wall. Stuck in a rob in a hard place. There's the up tilt. Wait for the edge as well. No confirm though, but good on Jackal for a little bit of patience on both their sides as well. No stop taken though. Jackal has to do something else. Gets a nice forward there. Good scrapping from him the second game as well. But the back air, bro. It's a zombie. Classic. People like to tell me he gets those back airs like no other. I know some statistician, uh, stats guy on Twitter can tell me how many back airs Zombas hit uh, in a lifetime. 
I was about to say, there's a stat, there's a statistics about it, about how many times he does land that back air in pivotal moments. Like how Zamba, I'm sorry, Jackal was going in for this forwarder and gets completely stuffed out by that back air. But man, speaking of back airs, let's just take it, let's just take a two for two for us. We are now last lock of peace. Zamba, all, although in the, in the favorable position here, Wolf does not want to be off stage whatsoever, and now we reverse the position. We go for that up throw, and we kind of maneuver around, go uh, go back to center stage, and allow some space to be made between both these characters. Anything can really happen here, but it's a great start for Jackal so far. If Zomba loses this game, he's going to be kicking himself because that down I should have killed Jackal. But Jackal's up B recovery earlier on was so smart, just to go just a little bit, you know, around Zomba. But now the up air, you're losing the mini game. Still survive. Good DR in the upper as well. We're gonna roll in, we're gonna jump in, and we unfortunately almost get caught the same thing. The up tilt was a threat, but a promise that another up air would have connected had it been uh, in, in the cards. But there's a there's a grab off the off the platform, and then okay, of course, I think at that point it's gonna be a if you're a high, high percentage, you bury, you immediately die. Yeah, there's like there's like two phases to that grab. Rest. I like to call it the mini game because like it's like a Mario Party mini game, you know? Yes. You, you've mashed out now. Do you choose the 50 50 of like you know? Do you want to mash out straight away? Do you want to keep your you know, a little bit of a mix-up right there. The Arch Smash comes out, of course, to, get to, match, uh, to catch you know, those early mashes, right? So you have to kind of make two guesses, I think. And uh, it's pretty deadly. Rob is uh, yep. he's a bit of a mean character, you know what I mean? And a great Rob player uh, can, can tell what you're doing. You know, immediately. They're like, okay, you're going to weigh it out. Don't worry about it. I can weigh it out, too. <laughs> oh, you're going to mash it out? Well, I have one of the best uppers in the game, so it's okay. Nice. And the nice. We're, we're chilling. We're, really, we're just chilling the entire time. Really, it's win-win for me and lose-lose for you, regardless of what you do. Um, you but. Mean. It would a mean, what a mean character. That's a mean, that's a mean thing to do. It is a mean, it's a mean character. But Wolf in that game one, I, I gotta say, Wolf a little bit, mean, a little bit of a bully too. But we are going over to PS2 now. Lots of extra space to play around with, especially for someone like Rob. But I feel like Wolf can at least get some, uh, some getaway tools, a little bit more space to, uh, to run away from, uh, from Zomba if need be. For sure. And I, I, the thing I like about Jackal's combos is he doesn't try to extend too hard. He gets safe damage and then runs away. Like, you know what? I've got my safe damage. I don't need to overextend against a character like Rob that can zero to death me for free. Especially if Zomba's the pilot. Understanding what he needs to do and that kind of backs off. It's really smart gameplay, really patient as well. And I feel like that's why he's kind of winning this uh, third game at the moment. Until now, though, Zomba on a terror. Like the roll in, the B reverse uh, to the down B trying to catch something with the gyro not being able to. But the down tilt into the throw is able to get something started again. Rob on the ledge bar. So scary. So scary, but somehow the Wolf Flash actually does not does go uh, does go unpunished, and so is the up B. We're barely missing that down there on the on the on the ledge, allowing Jackal to come back for free. But the up air catching the jump in, oh my goodness, big punish here! But it's still anyone's game. You see Jackal uh, tr trying to utilize that that uh, strong Wolf back air, and we have Gyro uh, Gyro in hand. So what are we gonna do with it? We're gonna hit him right in the face with it. Boom, bam, bop. Now can we do it again? Yes, we can. We're gonna get down. We're gonna get uh, anything started. Oh, the Nair coming in clutch. Okay, trying to fight back with that transcendent laser, gonna do his job. Can't really challenge that move. And again, Zomba back on the ledge. Rob not exactly, uh, you know, not got those quick, the, the most quick button on the ledge, but still managing to fight the way back. Lots of stalling options and gets the upper as well. Jackal not ready for that one. And uh, even though Zomba had a little bit of a bad start, still managing to maintain a lead. Oh no. Uh -oh. oh, we will flash right into the very beautiful hands of Rob, getting that throw. Zomba, what were we, what were we facing, Buzzy? <laughs> Big Mitchell. pun out the way, the big dash attack coming through. Now Jackal, even up on the stocks wise, percent though still in Zomba's favor. Until now though, Jackal trying to get something, but no Zomba uh, denying any type of entry. Oh, catching the spot dodge. But unfortunately, we fall again back into this throw. But thankfully, no laser to boot. But we're still seeing Jackal struggle to get back on the stage. The nice roll in gets completely punished by the dash attack. And now another grab into the berry, may I say, with some DI mix up. No, we do get the up tilt, but no follow through with the up air. Doesn't really matter though. Jackal at 122%. This is really looking like Zomba's third game to take. Yeah, what's really cool about these guys, because they've played each other so much, they know each other's habits, and they're now starting to adapt each other on the fly right now. Because we're seeing before, Zomba would do it uh, usually like an instant laser after a back throw, but now he's actually kind of delaying it to, to wait for the shine, to wait for these air dodges. And it's really smart, just not really working out so far, though. Oh, this is huge. Nice little scram scramble here. Zombo's percent is starting to build up a little more, but Jackal is at that deep red. You know, yes, we have max rage. Yes, we are playing Wolf. But when Zombo's being st is stuffing you out very nicely with these lasers and, of course, with the gyro, it becomes so much harder for Jackal to do his job as Wolf to play the game, to play the character the way the character's meant to be played. Big Nair coming in, and that secures the second stock. Jackal not looking as clean as he was in the first game. Oh, ricocheting off that gyro is going to be great straight into Zob uh, Zomba's loving hands. That side, you're gonna put some pressure on the ledge. 
Capish dash attack coming in. The gyro is set up. You saw the, the idea of the, da the down to uh, combo going in, but thankfully Jacko a lot more rare than I ever will be. Gonna be finagling it on the center of the stage. A little bit neutral being played. Trying to go for that forest, uh, that forest smash. Unfortunately, Zamba's not gonna be falling into that anytime soon. As big of a body as, uh, as Rob is, it's just not gonna happen that easily. The percentage is only climbing for Jackal, and Zamba's looking even more comfortable than before. The down tilt, kind of good for the down air, possibly. We oh, I hate, I hate predicting these people. <laughs> I hate predicting these people. <laughs> Miles had enough guys, they really don't understand what is going to happen in the end, and honestly neither do I, I can't call it, uh, one minute Zomba is smacking the hell up out of Zomba, and the next minute he's getting down it for free, yes. this is never a case where you can decide who the winner is, and, and that's what's so cool about seeing these guys play each other. And so, I, I love watching them play, uh, these people are in my region, so I see them improve and, and go forward for years and years, and it's like, Zomba has improved so much as a person, as a player in the past, especially, two, I want to say year and a half, where even if he did get a very devastating loss that first game, <laughs> he brings it right back so so wrapped up and beautifully, and Jacko now has to kind of expend more of that mind power and to be like, what can I change up in this game plan to mix up on Zomba again? Okay, finally these fast pulling up as uh, from, we saw it from Light, now we're seeing it from from, uh, from Jackal. Works out so well for these spaces, their fast fall ability is able to kind of help them gain a lot of traction in, in damage wise as well. Zomba taking a lot of pain from it too, let's see it now again. Okay, going for the Nair on the platform, but it's going to be completely negated by the forwarder coming from Jackal. Complete, per uh, complete even percents here. The shine does come through and man, not a whole 30% on Zomba off of his own laser. It does hurt and it does uh, do a little bit of damage here. The down train, the down to train coming in as well. The laser to boot and now the com the uh, the completion with the forwarder into the blast zone. Oh, my fault. My bad. <laughs> I know you're built like that. Zomba even hitting himself right there. I understand that was kind of a dumb move. You know, when you're coming off that invisibility platform, bro, uh, you got all the invisibility in the world, you know? Don't hold shield. Don't don't interact. Run away. Don't try to, don't try to uh, contest them. Laser is fully charged for Zomba here. So he's, he's blinking, uh, you know, white. And Jarro's gone. All right, no problem, no problem. We are going to be seeing a uh, kind of a some more scrappiness going on as we have fresh new stocks to play with. Zamba going to be beating that out, and wow. I like the trump as well. Yep, good side beat from Jackal to understand. This won't be anywhere near that ledge. Rob is a monster right there. Putting them to bed right now. Here's the dash tactic. Extend it. There's Shine. Turns it around, looking for a back but Zomba, good DI to so stay away from him. Okay, we're going to be following up with the dash tag once more. The Gyro is there. Gets picked up, set up on that ledge for himself. And we take a pretty much a favorable trade for Jackal this time. The percentages are starting to rack up in Zamba, uh, on Zamba at least. Jackal looking a lot cleaner than before. And just honestly, this is the fourth game. Zamba just needs to win this and just to secure a, uh, the rest of the spot in top four. But otherwise, man, it's looking like a m much more Jackal focused game this, uh, this time. Yeah, for sure. It's easier said than done, of course. Can't win the set, so sure. We, we don't, like I said before, we don't know who's going to win. Uh, seems to be swaying a lot of the time, but now swaying into Jackal's favor for sure. Finds that back air, but again, how long can you keep this lead for? Zomba, you know he's going to come back on as a menace, of course. Can he take the stock, though? Oh man, I'm not even sure if he can. I mean, we already maintained this percentage for a pretty long time and this stock, but Zomba is a master of bringing it right back. I mean, man, oh my goodness, the red spark of death coming in, but line was a little bit longer. Jackal living a lot longer than expected, but there's the berry into the up air immediately. You're cracked? I'm sorry, I would have died. There we go. <laughs> Zomba being like, why are you not dead yet? It's been three times. Hold on. That's even. That's the thing, bro. Rob puts you in these situations. Even if you guess wrong, or even if you guess right, he's like a cuphead boss. Like, you know, we'll just go up a level. We'll go up another boss phase, see if you can deal with that. And apparently, Jackal just couldn't uh, handle it. Good forwarder into, into the tilt. There we go. Can we get the edge guard? Can we get anything started? I mean, edge guard and Rob sounds like a fake myth, but it's definitely possible. It's, it's even just to get some more percentage on yourself, but it's not going to happen for Jackal here. We get the grab. We get oh the up air into the blast, and you're dead. God. Oh my god. That was a great read. S something simple just like that uh, is so effective. You know, Zomba stood up straight away because he knew. I know you're going to double jump. We've been doing that a lot of time. Awful, awful habit to have in those situations. You will die to Rob Zappa, no matter if you figure out the mini game. 50 50 or not, that's a 0 to 100. I react like I react. We got like people just shaking like their head at us, and I understand why. That's ugly. Well, you're watching. <laughs> Rob is a. Bro, I've been saying it before. Rob is a cuphead boss, guys, in Smash. I react like I just heard like the most devastating news in my life. Look at that. 66? You die, you're just getting pushed into the blast. So at that point, you know, had we been on maybe even TNC, 
fine. You're chilling. At least for a little bit longer, with, with, with your percentage being a little bit lower. But on PS2, you chose PS2. Yes, you have more space to play around with. You have a little bit of runaway uh, area away from Rob, away from Rob Gyro, away from Rob Blazer. But if you're caught lacking on those uh, those, those jump double jumps on the platform, buddy, you're done. <laughs> Se fue. And speaking of Spanish, our, our next match, I actually laughed in the middle of our set.